Right, so before we start this, uh, well, the main part of this uh, video, I'm going to show you the lock that Chris Capoon sent me. So, Chris sent me this lock, oh, blimey, before Christmas. Very impressed it turned up on time. Um, I've had a really fun time with this lock. I've stripped it, I've cleaned it, um, I've taken it apart, I've had a play with the insides. Um, they're all now working uh, with a little bit of a, a fun and game tweak. So, what I thought I'd do is show everybody, and hopefully Chris, that it works and that I've created a key for it. So, key goes in, key turns, padlock opens, turns, padlock's closed. So, that um, is that one all tidied up. Uh, very nice. It's a little rough, but I don't think... I don't think I'm ever going to get it uh, perfectly smooth inside there without replacing all of the internals. But it works perfectly well. It's a little bit of a ramshackle lock, but so be it. Very nice. So that's that. What we're going to have a look at in this video, I uh, appreciate that I'm already a minute in, is the Belfry that um, uh, Peter Lewis sent me, um, the Irish lock picker. He sent it to me because I didn't want to take apart all my other belfries <laughs> that I like um, and the reason that this one I'm happy to take apart because I'm I, I don't like taking apart good locks um, the reason I'm happy to take it apart is that actually it's pretty manky in the insides I can tell from here that the levers have dropped um, you could uh, probably not get a key in there because one of the levers is is impinging with the central post so what we're going to do I'll grind off these uh, rivet heads and we'll have a quick look at the inside see how bad it is and my plan is to put a perspex cover on the front right back again uh, I'm getting better with this old drilling of uh, rivets out it's uh, actually looking quite neat now so what we do as we did with a lot of the others the Squire the Belfry uh, the other little Belfry this tiny little Belfry um, uh, and the Squire and others basically now you've drilled the rivet heads off it's a case of going in with a screwdriver I've just given it a bit of a tap and hopefully you can just go around and pop off the front. We're going to hit the same problem again, I think, with the um, shackle pin, which I was hoping to be able to hold on to and reuse. But I have this feeling it's also a rivet. So, yeah, we'll drill that one off now and uh, the rest should just pop off. There's the front uh, cover. That's off. Nice. Uh, front cover I'll tidy it up a little bit because it looks quite good in its own right and as long as the uh, drill holes aren't too bad it's uh, it's quite pretty so again we're going to do the same thing here probably use the shackle get a bit of a twist on there we are just once you've got that crack opened up it's fine um, we're going to do the same thing again just go around the outside it's like opening a can just go around it with a can opener in this case the screwdriver and off comes the front so what have we got here well we have a five lever belfry um, it's beautiful inside all brass uh, including the bolt mechanism um, the body I've done a um, a review uh, 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 a video of the same thing here in a small old English style so you can see wraps around single piece starts here wraps all the way around comes back on itself and finishes up back where you started so that's that one this one is exactly the same thing it starts in this corner and you fold it folds well they'll fold the outside first so they've gone this way and folded the outside and then folded back through the inside and then finished up in that corner there now the reason I say that there's something probably wrong with this is because you probably can just about see it uh, let me get a better pointer on there okay just about see it is these levers are very 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 close to that pin there's no way you'll get a a, a lock over there now what I think has happened is that this post in the center has probably slipped slightly so we'll just dis disassemble it and have a check of that post because what happens is sometimes that post pops out and then it's at a slight angle downwards 
and the front levers, especially if they're um, big levers, um, start getting very close to the post. Okay, as I thought, there is a very slight bend on this um, on this piece here. As you can see, it should be dead flat. Um, we'll bring that down. That's horrible. It should be dead flat. And what you can see is there's about a drop. If I put that square, there's a drop of about two, maybe three millimeters. Um, difficult to see. Um, hopefully you can there. You can see a bit of light through the side there. So a drop of about two or three millimeters. And when you're talking levers that only have movement of maybe 10 or 12 mil, uh, three or four mil can make a huge amount of difference. So what we're going to do with this one is we'll warm that up very, very slightly so I don't break it, push it back up so it's flat. And then basically it's a quick tidy up, a reassemble, and we'll put the, um, put the front cover back on. Now I'm not sure whether I'll use the internals. I might use the internal plate and leave the internal plate in place and put a perspex on the front. Not sure yet. So we'll have a tidy up of that. I'll redo the battery on the, uh, on the camera and hopefully we'll have a working belfry with a plastic Perspex front cover on it. I'm going to risk the battery a little bit because I just managed to get the uh, the side off. It's slightly warped uh, as I did so, but um, uh, once I've got the pins back in place uh, and given that a little bit of a um, bit of tender love and care with a pair of pliers, that'll be fine. So what I'm left with is the back plate. Now the back plate obviously is two plates um with a load of rivets in it now these three in the center or these three in the center these three pins in the center are all to do with the locking mechanism and that's the key pin so i'm not going to touch any of those but what i'll do is cut these off from this side so you won't be able to tell from the other side they've been removed in fact i've got a bolt in it but you know there won't be any grinding marks on the back here uh because once you've ground off the fat side here you can just punch out the ends um, out the middle there. Uh, so that will give me a pristine back plate, which I'll then um, probably shine up a little bit because it's going to be on display. I'll just give the back a bit of a wire brush, nothing more than that. And we are in business. So we're back um, having done a little bit of tidying up, a little bit of shining, a little bit of cutting out. So let's go through these bits in order. Front plate, outer, front plate, inner. We aren't going to be using them again, but I will keep them for a odds and ends shackle. I haven't done very much to that. I'll give it a quick um, brush before I put it in. There's the outer um, body, the, the sides. As you can see, it is literally just that one plate. They're not even connected together. Um, possibly tack welded at one point, but I don't think so. So, you know, they literally just bent metal that's all it is um the back plate uh the back plate i have shined now i would not normally do this to a lock that i thought would be going back into the collecting picking world as such because um i don't like shiny new um when it's not shiny new um but as this is all going to be seen in the inside and it's more of a demonstration piece, I thought I'd just go for a shine. Uh, I've done the same with the uh, the bolt receiver, uh, the bolt mechanism and the levers. I have straightened the um, the pin in the centre here. I must find out the uh, if there's a technical term for that. So hopefully you can see that if I put that now on there, there is no gap. Um, and so that that arm there is now straight which now means that the um the levers won't drop down as far as they were beforehand and i've cut a new or a plastic front cover uh so what i'm gonna do here um there is just a a bit of plastic over the front and back and as you can see that will be a, a clear perspex front so i'll put this all together uh and we'll have a quick look at it Right, well, there we are, all done, hopefully. So, as you can see, I've got a Perspex front on, uh, probably better work than the one I did with the Squire, but uh, still my best work. I, I have to say Perspex is not exactly my medium. 
Uh, I've got five bolts going through. I'll trim these off at some point, but uh, for the moment they, they actually make it stand up quite nicely. So I'm going to leave them on. Um, shackle there, we're all locked up. The shackle's a little bit tight, um, but I'm not too fussed about that. Of course, one thing I was missing, the key. So we'll put it in. And what I'm going to do, very, very slowly turn it. Hopefully you can see all the levers kicking up. Bolt goes across, still a little stiff. And out it comes the other end. And then unlocking up and across and down. I think I might have it a little bit tight because some of those levers are binding. But eventually, over time, that will all loosen up. I'll loosen the bolts maybe a little bit, maybe put a washer in there. But there we are, a Perspex fronted Belfry of the oval type. Uh, one of my favourites. Thank you very much, Peter, for sending me that. Um, I wouldn't have done it to one of my own. I was really glad that this one needed the work inside uh, because it then gave me the excuse to take it apart and put a front cover on it. So hope that hopefully that was interesting to everybody. That's me for today. Good night. Nostar.